up guys, Mark from Random Exhaust, but again back with a new video, um, yes I, you see it right, same shirt, same lineup, um, that's because I just filmed this video right after uh, tape update 26, so got some records to show you, not much, but some stuff I just want to get shown for you guys, um, so yeah, only three, so um, yeah, let's see how this falls out. First up, um, this is Coroner with Rest in Peace. And this is the debut album of this trash band from Switzerland. And this band um, has made up of roadies of uh, a Celtic Frost. So that's pretty interesting. Um, comes on very simple black vinyl. I'm just gonna show you this sexy one. Labels. Um, the trash metal, but not your standard trash metal. Um, it has, of course, the old school feeling to it, um, the thing trash is and stuff like that. But it's a tent more technical than other bands. Um, use some more breaks in their stuff, in the guitar work, uh, more leads on a different way um, yeah, different kind of tempos here and there um, than the straightforward, the same trash trash tempo a lot of bands have but they have some more variety in here um, that's what I really enjoy about this album it does the, his own thing um, really great debut from this band I uh, also think their second album, uh, which is called Capital for Decadence or something in that vein, um, anyways, correct me if I'm wrong, um, I still want to pick up that one because that one is also very awesome. Um, so um, yeah, really great stuff. If you're not familiar with Coroner, go check him out. This is an amazing album, definitely worth checking, guys, and um, let me know what you think because this band needs to be heard more. Um, this band is a lot overlooked, um, not mentioned a lot, but, but they deserve the attention. So go look it up and support the band. Awesome stuff. Then a lot of, some of you guys ask me, are you into rap metal, no, of rap or whatever? Not really. Um, Rap is not really my thing. I do like some stuff like Old Cypress Hill, um, for example, or Old Beastie Boys. That's stuff I like, but the modern day rap, um, no, I have nothing with that. I do like some rap metal though, and one band I really like as well is Body Count, and this is their album Bloodlust. Body Count is a band from rapper Ice-T, um, it's a metal band, has some hardcore punk influences, trash metal influences, yeah, it really sounds pretty good, um, really like the first three albums, then I kinda lost track a bit from this band and I recently listened to this one which is released uh, two years back. Um, yeah, and I really enjoyed this one, so I thought let's pick this one up. Uh, this is Bloodlust, like I said. Um, yeah, really nice stuff here. Gatefold with the band members here. Comes some with some goodies. First of all, there is the CD. Then the Sensory Media bullcrap, and of course a lyric sheet. This album is in heavy black vinyl. Let's have a look here. Looks like this. Yeah, really awesome. Um, A lot of people are surprised that I like this band, but yeah, I do like them. Uh, like I said, I like their first three albums, uh, Body Count, um, Born Dead, and um, 
Violent Demise, I think it's called. Um, and the other, didn't really listen to it actually, but maybe I'm gonna revisit those albums as well. Um, but yeah, I'm really stoked with this album. I really quite enjoy it. Um, there are some guest um, musicians as well on this one, uh, like Dave Mustaine is on the first song, uh, Max Cavalera is on All Love is Lost. Um, there's a Slayer cover on here, Raining Blood Post Mortem, that's really awesome, that's on here. Um, there's also a guest performance by Randall Blythe, I believe, or how her, her name's called. I don't know exactly who that is, but uh, yeah, it sounds good. Um, yeah, really great stuff, and um, go pick it up if you get the chance, or even listen to it if you are not really familiar with it. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, like I said, it has some punk hard influences, hardcore influences, some trash metal influences. Definitely know. <laughs> Where it is coming from also not only the cover but um yeah the slayer cover adds definitely more gr aggression on this album of course but um yeah really good stuff one of the heavier albums of a body count thing so uh, yeah really good stuff and the last one on this stack um an album that's not so released is released not so long ago um a band I totally love. Their debut album is one of the grindcore classics. Um, the follow-up was a bit disappointing to me because there were more death metal influences. The album was a bit slower. Um, yeah, I didn't really enjoy that album as much as the debut album. Um, Horde of Zombies was a bit better, but this New album, Caustic Attack, definitely goes more back to Ball Downfall. Of course, I'm talking about Terrorizer. And this album is... Uh, fucking aggression again. I really enjoy this. Short, sharp, aggressive songs. Um, great stuff. Guns are printed in a sleeve. Lyrics. Credits and thanks lists, some band pictures, and the vinyl looks like this. I also think this is released in colored vinyl, but um, yeah, I just got the black one going old school here. Um, yeah, awesome stuff, guys. Um, Terrorizer has it a bit again, and um, really glad that the um, Members that now in are adding more aggression to the old, going back to the old sound. Lee Harrison and Sam Molina, both known from uh, Monstrosity, of course. Um, really know how to feel an old school feeling to this album. And uh, Pete Sandoval is back on his um, old self uh, after all his trouble with his back uh, operations and stuff like that. Um, it really sounds killer again. Um, Great, great stuff. Definitely enjoy this. Um, if you haven't heard, still haven't heard this, guys, go look it up. It is fucking awesome. At least by the end records, if you want to know. Um, go look it up. Um, Terrorizer with Caustic Attack. And I really enjoy that artwork as well. Kind of futuristic, uh, Armageddon ish. Um, bold. Domination, I don't know how you call it, but um, yeah, really great stuff. Terrorizer and Caustic Attack, awesome stuff. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the albums. Did you discover something new or thought, um, hey, this is really cool, I want to revisit it again? Thanks to you. Let me know. Um, if you don't like it, yeah, that shit also could happen. I'm not worried uh, if you post that, but uh, yeah. Anyways, um, thank you for tuning in and hope to see you with my next video. Thank you, take care and have a nice day.